Welcome to Tyro TV, I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know us, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Ridge Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, and that's right, a warrior. Ooh wee, and so what we're teaching fathers to be is to be leaders and to war for your legacy as a leader in your home, your community, and your workplace. And for those of you who are tripping on us right now, because I know you're tripping, <laughs> right? Who are these people? Who do they think they are? Look at them, they've never been through nothing. Let me tell you, don't let the don't let the cover of the book, you know, Dissuade trip you up. You. That's Dissuade right. you. We've been through something and we live to what? Tell about it. Tell about it. So we spent 15 years in the prison system. Ron doing time on the inside with the kids and I do the time on the outside. But through that adventure, mm. right? Oh my Woo. goodness. I mean, through that challenge, we came out stronger. We came out healthier. We came out better. We learned the tools, the tricks, the trades, the things that we needed to do in order to encounter, face, and recover, and overcome every obstacle before us. And now, that's what we teach people through our Tyro programs and through this program, Tyro TV. So today we want to talk about really about family time. You know, how do you take advantage of family time, especially when you're, your dad, one of your greatest jobs, the hardest jobs I believe that any dad could right. find is fathering from behind bars, Ooh, right? And so we want to help you today. We want to talk about really what does it mean to be a father from behind bars and how do you create family time that is everlasting and impactful? Right. And not just family time with, between you and your kids, but family time between you and your wife, you mm -hmm. and your significant other your partner in life. How do you create that opportunity in spite of the fact that you're in prison? So today as we break down these concepts, I mean, you are going to learn something that you can apply right now that's going to help your family not just survive, but thrive. And that's, that's the key. You have to apply this, these things. This, you can't be a successful father if you don't put action behind that. You can't be a successful husband if you don't put action behind that. These things just don't happen overnight, right? You can dream on your bunk all you want. When I get home, when I get home, when mm -hmm. I, if you do not begin implementing these small things, what we're going to talk about today, each little thing that's going to add up to something big, you will fail at becoming a dad, a great dad, a husband, because you have to practice now right where you're at to see if you can even do what what we're talking about. Ooh, wait. So right. you are not going to want to miss today. We're going to have a lot of fun. So stay tuned. When we come back, we'll tell you more about planning family time in spite of prison. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Playing catch, basketball, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And, and today, today, we're talking <laughs> about family time. You know, it, as I look at our life and I look for us growing as a family inside prison, you know, 15 years is a long time. Oh my gosh. You know, that's, we're averaging one, two, maybe three visits a month. If right. it was a great month, it was three visits. Um, if it was an okay month, it was one. But every visit's a great visit, right? Every time you get to see family and stuff like that. But you have to be creative. Right. You know, we talk about what is it? What is family time? You see, right? you know, I know, and Ron knows, we both know that's a sore spot. When you when you talk about family time, I mean, it creates all this a, pain, When Kenny right? says sore spot, that's a hurt spot. Yeah. That's a, you know, we cringe, man. Come on, guys. It, it, it hurts our heart because we can't, we messed it up. Right. Tell the truth, you messed it up. And so right. now, as you're walking through this prison experience and you're walking through this journey and this time in prison, you're asking yourself, oh my gosh, what about my family? Man, have, have I totally irreparably damaged my family? Mm. Do I even have the right to be part of my family's life? And the truth is, yes, you do. You know, you have opportunities to make it right. And you have to take advantage of those opportunities right now. I remember when Ron was in prison and I would go, you know, to workshops or I would hear things and people would be talking about um, the importance 
importance of family time and investing in your kids and spending having family meals together and doing you know game night or things like that and I remember just feeling so devastated like I would go home and, and I remember at night that I would cry and just think oh my gosh my kids are doomed because my husband's in prison there's no way that we can have family dinners together on a regular basis there's no way to do family game night and so that kind of woe is me mm. victim mentality I really had to attack and say you know what we have to create something innovative and different because we're not going to allow our kids to be doomed. So even though uh, research has shown that all those things Kathy was describing, family time and the things that go into that out here on the streets, you know, maybe you can't do that. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't define your outcome. Right. You know, maybe research shows that this makes it for a better and healthier and a stronger family. True enough. But OK, so since that's not your story. Right, you can't be home and, and, and have a meal with your family at night or you can't tuck your kids into bed so yet. How can you not become a statistic and really break that, that chain right, right there where you can still have a healthy, strong family even from where you're at? And that's what we're right. gonna talk about today. What yeah. is this that we're talking about? Yeah, so when we think about family time, mm -hmm. just because you can't invest in traditional family time yep. does not mean that you cannot invest in your family. So you have a ton of opportunities before you and you've got to be creative, you've got to be thoughtful, you've yep. got to be innovative and thinking about how do you do it. And so as we go through today's episode, we're going to be talking more about why it's so important. We're going to be talking about exactly how do you do it. But we want to make sure you understand what we're talking about. When we say family time, we're not just talking about getting your family together and going to a ball game. And so we think about all the traditional things, going on vacation together, you know, doing these things that traditionally families can do when everybody's together. Because the truth is, you're not in a traditional environment. Right, right. <laughs> and so we got to own that right there. Okay, I'm not in a traditional environment where we can pack up the kids and we can go on family vacation or we can go to a movie. Or we, you, okay, so let's yeah. keep it real, right? And the struggle is real. This, right. is, this is a hard spot with people, you know what, and they want to stay in a place called denial. Mm -hmm. You know, that our family is healthy. Our family is going to be good. We're gonna, this ain't going to happen to us. That's not true because if you don't implement the things we're going to talk about or implement a change and clear direction on how you're going to thrive despite this experience, mm -hmm. you will fail. Ooh. Mm. And so understanding that it's not an all or nothing game, right? When we say family time, it's not like, well, if I can't physically be there, if I can't do all of these things that traditional, quote unquote, families do, then you know what? I'm screwed. I, there's no point in me even trying, so my family, you know, I might as well just be out of my family altogether. Okay, that is ridiculous, you know, so, so don't, don't live the victim or the defeatist, uh, defeated mentality. Instead, what we have to do is we have to recognize that you are still a family. You are a non-traditional family. You're functioning non-traditionally because you're in prison, mm -hmm. but you're still a family unit and you still have a ton of opportunity to invest in each other and spend time together. So if you have the attitude, I came in alone and I'm going alone. Oh, you're still a grown man with little boy. So uh, you're still a grown man with little boy issues because that's not true. It's a lie. You did not, not, not only did you not come in here alone, you are not leaving alone. So get over that. Get rid of that out of your vocabulary. Take, take that out of your mindset because you came in, you brought in your family with you. You brought in, whether you're communicating with them or not, guess what? They're still doing time with you because people love you regardless mm -hmm. what, what the circumstances are. They may be upset. They may be ticked. They may be you know, looking for this thing called forgiveness for whatever got you in that place. That's true. But you know what? You still got people who love you. They're still rooting for you and they're still believing in you. Right. But you got to put the work in, dad. And counting on you. Your children are counting on you to be dad in their life in spite of the separation of incarceration. And so we're, when we come back, we're going to talk more about why it's so important that you carve out time to really dedicate towards family time in spite of the fact that you're not physically there. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. And we will be right back. Pyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions. 
to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about something that is not only dear to our heart, but we hope it's dear to your heart. You know, we know it's dear to your family's heart. Ooh, what are we talking about? Family time. Yes, not just dear to their heart, but also really important to their success. Mm. Because if we don't find ways to invest in family time, if you just think about this experience of prison as being all about the prison experience, you're gonna lose your family. You may not like lose them like, like your wife might not divorce you and your kids might not disown you, okay? But you're gonna lose them to the experience of prison. And so the emotional guards, there won't be emotional health or mental health. You guys won't have the bond that you, that you could actually build in the midst of this. And so it's so important for you to look at family time as being a vital part of your experience as a family in the midst of this journey through prison. So we know the saying, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is about. It will make your family stronger yep. if you embrace this experience and you really look at the opportunities that are before you to create a healthy, thriving, strong legacy for your family. Because you're in an environment where it is dark, mm -hmm. there is a lot of pain and suffering going on there, but when you come to the place of where pain and suffering have been my greatest teachers, you can learn so much how you can begin to implement what it means to be creative, mm -hmm. to be innovative, and to pour into your family mm -hmm. something so great that people are going to be so amazed that you guys did 15 years and yet you guys are so strong and wow. thriving together as a family. And you will be remarkably surprised that people will say, wow, you know, not only, did, wow, I would never have thought you did prison, but you know what? You're one of the strongest, healthiest, most bonded families I know. It is amazing when people say that to us and amazing when they say that to people that we have trained and coached through Tyro programs. They say, wow, you would never know that that family was separated by incarceration. But that takes you being diligent and intentional in creating opportunities to bond together as a family. Because if you don't, your family's gonna disintegrate. Your children are not gonna be healthy emotionally. Your children are gonna struggle. Your children will never never have the fullness of their potential. Okay, they, they will, but there'll be lots more obstacles in front of them. If you wanna position your children in the best place possible for success, you have to be investing in your family in spite of the distance. So why is this important? It's important because many are counting on you. You wanna stop this generational cycles of self-destruction, self-inflicted uh, mm -hmm. uh, damage, Image. You know, we talk about friendly fire, Dad. Why is family time so important so you can stop the next generation from creating friendly fire? Your role as a father in the penitentiary is to understand what got your family into first place into this situation. And then your role after this, when it's family time, is to have a place where you can empower your family so you guys can have a courageous conversation. So right now, your kids, your family, their love tank is empty. There's nobody out there that's saying, wow, you know what, your family's awesome, right? And so they're watching other dads play catch with other little boys. They're watching other dads take girls, their daughters, to father-daughter dances. They're watching all mm -hmm. the things that they're missing out on. And if you don't create something to deposit in there, then their walls go up, the numbness goes up, the pain, the hurt, they're going to look for other things that are going to fill that. And those other things might be drugs, alcohol, having um, sex with, with boys that don't care about them or girls that don't care about them. So they're looking for love. In all the wrong places. Come on, dads. Right. Right. And that's and that's so cr crucial, Kathy, that what you said, because, listen, what, your kids are hurting. And if their love tank is empty, mm -hmm. you have to say, okay, what do I got to do to fill it up mm -hmm. from in here? Mm -hmm. What is it? What do we got to do? This is why it's so important that you recognize your role, the, the ability that you still have. You still have the ability to pour out into them something great, something that will outlast this penitentiary Ooh, experience. Yes. Because if they, if they think that the, every moment that they have with you is just there and gone, but you're not leaving a residue in their, in their life, you're not yeah. leaving a mark to where they can 
can take it on into the next existence of them as they grow into adulthood, this penitentiary experience that they are having will leave such tissue damage mm -hmm. in their relationships, mm. in their work, in their ability to dream, because you never took the time to figure out how can I pour into them to tell them that, you know what, this is an event in our life, not a lifestyle. So let me empower you and let's embrace this experience mm -hmm. because what won't kill you will, will make, make you, you stronger. stronger. That's right. And so when dads say, and we, and we hear this a lot from families, you know what? Yeah, but you know, my husband says, you know what? Let's not waste time playing games together. You know, we only have this little bit of time. Mm. Let's not waste time talking about mm, frivolous mm, mm. things. There's really serious things that we got to talk about because I'm in prison. Oh my goodness. You know what? Real families out here, families that bond, we don't spend all of our time. Nobody should be spending all of their time talking about really serious things. And that was a hard one. You know, when I first oh, went to prison, yeah. it was all about the lawyer. It was all about money on my books. It was all about who? It was all about me. It was all about the pain yeah. of the experience. It was all about the difficulty of the experience. And all that does is multiply the, the obstacles before you and your significant other and you and your children. If you're not creating a beautiful, wonderful experience where it's a, a fragrant experience to spend time with you. Even in a prison visiting even room. Even in a prison visit, even on phone calls, yeah. even in letters, right? Then what you're doing is you're, you, you are multiplying the negative impact of prison on your children and your family. And so it is and it's not even And it's not even a negative impact to where you're discouraging them from coming there. That's it's right. It's not what we're saying because that, right. that reality still exists because they're still not, you're not bringing healing to them. You're not helping them understand this experience that it's an event, not a lifestyle. And so if we're bringing in, it's all about so seriousness right. there's no room to grow in that right because that's pain that's stuff you know we don't want to keep talking about the lawyer every time i call you yes. I'll, you know did you talk to the lawyer did you send me you know it's yeah. the same old same old and listen guys you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about but when you really begin to understand you know what it is what it is. I want to talk about you. Yeah. I want, what's happening with the kids? I want to see what can I do from in here? And when we come back, we're going to be talking about how... How and, can you yeah, do it, How right? can you do it? This is important. The, the is, key ingredients to success. Right. And so when we come back, we're going to break it down. We're going to give you some specific things that you can do right now to create that family bonding time and family time. So stay tuned, and we're going to be right back. Dear son... It's been hard these last few years, watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around, I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we have the privilege of sharing with you guys about family time and Ooh. the importance of it no matter where you're at. Yeah, and we know mm -hmm. it's painful. We know that this family separation is so painful. It's difficult. It's difficult for you inside there, Dad, and it's difficult for your kids and for your partner on the outside. And you know what's really uh, challenging? For every time that we did, got together on a visit, mm -hmm. every time we got together on a function or you came to visit me, something, something we were able to do, it was hard to strike up 
a conversation. Mm -hmm. It was hard to be relaxed. It was hard to let our hair down, right. right? To let go of the pain of walking outside and being in society and living with that label. It was hard for Ron mm -hmm. to, to drop down his walls because he'd been living with like, okay, this is a this is a, a place, a situation, an environment that I can't let my walls down with every single person. So so in the prison visiting room, coming out to a visit, yes, I have, you know, Kathy, you come to visit me, but every time it was like, it was, it, it took practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go out there, I only got three hours left, I can't let the first hour be about fighting. Right. Right, because I'm, I'm still, we're still struggling to, right. to have a, a good visit, right? To have create a, this, you know what, to merge these two worlds of the oh, outside world, goodness. the inside world, and now the, these worlds are colliding. But we, we, what we did is we intentionally said, you know what, we can't let these, these worlds collide. We have to, when we come in, we have to set our own culture, our own family culture. This is Listen, really important. Listen, this is important, gentlemen. We're taking the culture of society that I'm living in, the boys are living in, the culture of incarceration that's, that Ron's living in, and we're deciding that when we walk through those doors, when we sit down at that table together, that those cultures are pushed out and we're creating our own family culture in those moments. And this takes uh, not only focus, but intentional. Yeah. You gotta be intentional about the type of visit, the type of experience you wanna create for your children, because guess who's watching? They're watching every Your minute, kids, every yes. second. They're already in, walking they're watching in fear. The non yeah. They're watching the non They're watching the verbal and listening to the verbal exchanges. And they're being either infected or affected by what's happening, the, the atmosphere that you're creating during that visit. So there are three places that you can create family time. One is on your phone calls. Two is in the prison visiting room, and three is through letter or written correspondence, whether that's through an email that you have through tablets or whether it's an actual letter that you're writing. You have the opportunity, all three of those places, to create fun family experiences. Yeah, I know. You're like, oh yeah, right. I'm gonna say it again. You have the opportunity whether it's on a phone call, in a prison visiting room, or through written communication to create fun for your family. You know, I know I know today's in today's world they're having a lot of video conference calls. You yeah. know, they're trying to do away with visits and and you know and that, that it actually the truth is it breaks my heart. But dads We like that, it in between face to face. Yeah. We don't like it to replace face to face. So but you're gonna have to be creative how to to stay engaged with your kids because they're not gonna see you. They're not gonna be able to hold you. You know, so you gotta have to be extra focused on this to create this impact that you're trying to have with your kids. What's the F word? Focused. What's the other F word? Fun. It's got to be fun because dads, listen, when Kathy said this, when these two worlds collide, when we experienced it, mm -hmm. Kathy would bring in the culture from the streets and I would bring in the culture from the penitentiary and it was such a <sighs> horrific experience <laughs> that there was a time... I wouldn't say horrific. Oh my I gosh. I say difficult. But you know, not only, not only difficult, but it was horrific for our kids mm. because we didn't know how to act. We didn't know how to talk because we didn't know how to handle this situation. So I'm expecting right. Ron to be able to respond to what I'm saying from the vantage point of what I'm experiencing. He's expecting me to be able to interact with him from the vantage point of what he's expecting or experiencing. And so like we, we were misfiring. Yep. And so I wouldn't use the word horrific because we never had an all out brawl. Well, right? no. I've seen that right. happen in yep. prison yep. visiting yep. rooms where they are just like screaming and yelling and, and it's ridiculous. It wasn't like that. It was just a lot of tension. We didn't have right? a Walmart experience. No, but we had a lot of tension. And so when we realized we needed to create fun experiences for our kids, we began to do it. And so some of the things that we did, and we're going to break them down for you right now. So let's start with prison visits. What can you do to create fun in the prison visits? So one of the things that we did was we would, because they didn't have games in this particular penitentiary, and some of them we did, it didn't. So we got pieces of paper, we had napkins, and we would... So wait, wait, you played what? Well, we played checkers. Right. I taught my boys how to play chess. You we played, played games? We played tic-tac-toe. We would do everything we could to be creative in yes. there, right? Even with the, with the food that, yes. you, that we would give in the vending machines, uh, we would use it. We, 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 we wouldn't gamble with it, no, right? No, 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 no. But we would play tic-tac-toe, so winner got the next extra piece. So maybe there was only three cookies, right? right? Winner of tic-tac-toe get the extra cookie. That's right. right. And things of that nature, we try to make it exciting so and fun. we literally right? played games. So we set aside time, okay, let's update each other, let's talk. But then this time right here is only for playing games. This is our family time that we were creating and blocking off from the rest of the world, investing in our family by playing games. If, and if the institution had cards, if the institution had some sort of games, we would do those. If they didn't, there are all kinds of games that you can play. So I, I, I did a blog on tyro.blog about the different types of games. So you can read that or you can have your, your spouse read them. But there are games like 
tearing up papers and, and creating chess pieces or checkers, but there's also games like 20 Questions, the five second game. You can make up games if you don't I know I spy games. is a good one. Yeah. Right? Right. And, and, and you have to kinds of fun be things. creative, guys. Listen, your children are counting you to lift up the pain. And laugh. And laugh. Oh, for crying out loud, laugh. And so when we think about creating bonding time with family on the phone, be lighthearted, play games on the phone, check in with them, laugh, have fun, engage in games and, and, and visits and prison visits, and the same thing as you do written correspondence. So when we come back, we're going to wrap it all up. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Iro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You'll begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today has been a really serious subject. You know, yeah. what we talked about today is family time, wherever you're at. You know, we talked about earlier, we said the phone, mm -hmm. the visits, and letters. And we, we really harnessed a lot and focused yes. on visits. You right? have to create fun bonding time. You have to, when you come to visits, eat together. That's your opportunity to have your meal together. Make sure you're always eating together. Mm. And the next thing is making sure that you're playing together. And so you can play in five minutes on the phone. You can do something really quick, something Something fun. You can do something through letters. You can do something through emails. You can do it on the prison visiting block time. But you have to do it. You know, I want to share a game that uh, our sons did with me when I taught them how to play chess. Mm -hmm. So we began playing chess. Now this is slow mail. I know okay. you guys got JPay and maybe some other email technology there. But even if you did slow mail, we would play chess. I would move. We'd have it set up, and I would move. Uh, I don't even remember how the numbers go. Like J twelve to. Four, ten, whatever it is, I don't even remember, right? And but we were learning how to move pieces through mail mm -hmm. and play chess. Right. And so, d did it work a lot? You know, it was a slow mail, so right. but it would keep us engaged, and we were. I was anticipating, right? And in today's world, now watch this. This is how we did it way back in those days. Today they got apps where I'm. We could play uh, Scrabble right. together on, on your phone on yeah. the outside. So, so that technology yeah. is here. So when you're learning right? to play from a distance, you know you're going to fit right in playing, right? as you transition back home. You can play things like I Spy, Twenty Questions. You can play things like a Five Second Game. You know, even on the phone. On the phone, the Five Second Game is a great one. But anyway, whatever you do, you are having to must do is put aside the seriousness of this incarceration. You already know it's serious. You already know it's difficult. If you only focus in on the pain of it, that is what you are going to multiply in your life. So find places to block out chunks of time to experience joy together as a family, and you will find that your family will begin to relax. Your children will bond with you, and you will grow stronger and healthier together across time. You know, one of the things that was great when we were able to do this, then it opened up a venue or an opportunity for my sons to share with me their dreams. Mm -hmm. Right, because when I was always talking so serious and stuff like that, they and 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 not smiling. They're shut down. They're shut down. But when we began to really relax and understand and laugh and, and play. laugh, and do, they say, "Hey, Dad, can, you know what I'm dreaming about?" And they were able to really find out. You know, it was because what we listen, guys. This is important, Dads. When you can create a safe place, mm -hmm. that's what this is about. Families is supposed to be a safe place where people can share their ideas, mm -hmm. share their dreams, and laugh and cry together. 
And right. family is family. No matter where you live, no matter what your living arrangement is, your family is still your family. Mm. So you're living an untraditional family life while you're locked up, but that doesn't mean that your family unit does not exist. Do not let it fall apart. Protect that family unit with everything you have, and you will find that you will become more successful, and your children will become more successful, and your relationship will become more healthy. So if you haven't told your family in quite a while, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to do that. Tell them, I'm sorry that we have to experience this, but I'm also excited about what we're going to be able to build despite this situation. Because you have an opportunity to be innovative and creative and spark imagination on how you can overcome this and become even better problem solvers. So thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey. So always remember, until next time, that we, we are, are rooting, rooting for you. you.